are you? Meet at the station. Today's the day we hit the beach and don't sweat about the money. Hey now. Hey, Ferris, what's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? Hope everything is well. Hope your beard's fully defrosted now as well. All right, so it almost seems like we're waiting for Namine to restore... Flora's memories, which is kind of interesting and kind of weird. Like, if you didn't play Rechain of Memories, then you're not really going to fully understand what, what what what's happening between Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, because it's going to be like, well, I left off and they were walking away, and now I'm playing with somebody else, and all this other stuff we've seen in cutscenes isn't really explained at this point. So, yeah. Um, obviously, Sora is having his memory restored, which is what happened at the end of uh, Rechain of Memories. And obviously, until that point uh, finishes or happens, then uh, we're playing as Roxas, it seems, in Twilight Town, which we visited in Rechain of Memories. You doing pretty good? Good to hear. Good to hear, Perfurious. All right, uh, where are we going to today, I wonder? Let's go this way. On my skateboard. Hey. Morning. Oh. Huh? And our nominee shows up. Hello, Roxas. Uh, hi. And you are. I wanted to meet you at least once. Me? Yes, you. Strange. Then she just walks off. Olette dragged me along to go shopping. Hey, you want to come with us? Um, uh, wait. Did you just see that? Don't say it. Don't say it, Roxas. Stop thinking that you're going crazy. Okay? Yeah. Did she go to that haunted mansion? Not a problem, Ferris. It's not a difficult... It's not an easy game to uh, follow along with, I think, a lot of the time, so... I was just sort of uh, speaking out loud. More than anything. Huh? Let me go. Hey, chicken wuss. Hmm. Who's that? I don't know, but they've already crossed the line. Find a weapon. Fight the mysterious enemy. Turn into the Keyblade again, I wonder. Because this sword does no damage at all. Not good. Roxas, huh? use the Keyblade. <laughs> I 
Oh, maybe it's actually decision time now. I thought we'd already done this sort of thing, but I guess not. Station of Serenity. I'm going to take the sword. We received the power of the warrior. AKA, we get a Keyblade. Beat all the mysterious enemies. I'm sure I like that, like stalling that it does, like after, like going into every battle. A little bit kind of like slows down the gameplay a little bit for me. I feel, but uh, we got a bonus aerial recovery. So backseating is like, like when when you're playing a game and like somebody's in chat and they're telling you like exactly what to do all the time or like. Um, yeah, so like, I'm like playing the game, they're going, oh, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. It's like, no, that's kind of like you're playing the game from like a back seat. So it's just like, it's kind of like a term that um, is used to kind of say, don't do that, basically, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I can try and explain a little bit better if needed. Ross gained use of abilities, equip abilities at the main menu. After winning in poor battles, you level up, increasing various parameters and learning new attacks. You can also level up by getting experience from defeating enemies. When you're having a tough time with enemies, level rocks us up before moving on. Potion. The item command has been added. Use up and down, select the item and press square. Uh, X, select the item and use... To use and press X. Press L1 and X for shortcut. This thing can be changed in the main menu. So has that already been set or do I need to set it? I'm not really sure what that was saying to me. Be careful. Beyond that door lies a completely different world. Don't be afraid. Don't stop walking. From here on, when HP becomes zero, it's game over. For, make sure to restore HP when it gets low. All right. Save. Uh, what is auto reload? Auto, auto reloading. When an item is consumed, this will automatically re-equip the same item. It will be re-equipped. Okay. When an item is used, it will be re-equipped at the end of the battle. The item will be... yeah. Okay, so... Customize, select the character to set this command with. Select an item and select auto-reload on. When ability is equipped, the character will power up. There are many types of abilities with many effects. Uh, cost AP to equip them, and you can be equipped until the HP cage full. The ability to select from ability to select the character you like to equip. Abilities for select the ability set equipped to equip the chosen ability. Whew, that's a lot of abilities. Yeah, that sort of thing. Various is from bang on. Uh, use triangle to change abilities. Okay, Roxas. All right, so that's equipped. So quickly regains balance when with circle when knocked down. Okay. Uh, let's get our items.
Okay, so it's just press triangle. Gotcha. Okay. Let's head through the door. Wow, loading times are a lot quicker in this game. That's for sure. really quickly because we're now sort of getting into actual stuff here let me rearrange the real quickly wasn't sure where everything kind of went before because had to change everything for my palace principle playthrough but should be good rearrange my items on screen a little bit there we go cool I wasn't sure how much real estate I needed for the command bar as such. I wonder if, um, I'm not sure if like aerial attacks do more damage like in the original game or not. So that'd be something interesting to try and figure out. Fence increased. Excellent. It's in the chest. Ocean. Enemies. Yeah, so like the the keyblade is like the weapon of choice, um, and it's more kind of symbolizing the fact that the keyblade bearer is um, like sealing and locking doors that um, shouldn't be opened. I feel like aerial attacks do still do more damage than um, attacks on the ground. So we'll try and keep that in mind. Uh, interesting heartless use reaction commands to defeat the mysterious enemy uh, okay coming back.
Oh, he's coming back, all right. sure how I'm meant to dodge that, but sure. I guess it's just like teaching us about like the reversal command here. If we hadn't already like been using it already, which I have been, so kind of understand how to use it already. Like a option mechanic. This is this is worrying. Ah, uh, sure. Strength increase. quite sure what's going on here right now. Almost like we've gone back to where we were before and everything's happening all over again. Nothing wrong with trying to come up with analogies, me, uh, Beerus. Maximum HP increased, and we earned guard ability as well. Alright. Not quite sure what was going on in that fight. 
but we did it. That's the main thing. My name is Nominate. Roxas. Do you remember your true name? Say no more, Nominate. But if no one tells him, Roxas will... It's best he doesn't know the truth. Hey, you're that pickpocket! Cypher, strike a pose, you know? How's this? That's totally perfect, you know? How about one more, you know? What's that for? Keepsake. Those freaks in the white jumpsuits are gone, you know? Cakewalk. What were those things? Outsiders, that's what. And if they don't wise up to the rules around here, I might have to take disciplinary measures. Oh, yeah. Cypher's always looking after the town, you know? Hmm. Wait up! Hey, no chickening out of the tournament tomorrow. We'll be waiting, you know? Well, I wish you'd stop saying, you know, you know. Like their ice creams. So you hung out with Cypher's gang today? N no, it, it's not like that. Oh yeah, how was the beach? Wasn't that today? We didn't go. It wouldn't be the same without you, right? Sorry. Hey, how about we go tomorrow? We could get those pretzels, and I promised I'd be somewhere. Oh. Oh. You and I have to make the finals. That way, no matter who wins, the four of us split the prize. Okay, you're on. You two are gonna clean up. Go get them. It's a promise. I'm out of here. Restoration at forty eight per cent. Was that Nomine made of data? No. Nomine hijacked the data herself. Look what she's done now. She's totally beyond my control. Calm down. It doesn't matter. As long as Namine accomplishes her goal, we needn't worry about what befalls Roxas. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either. My friends are my power. So your heart won this battle. Interesting that they include that. And some. Interesting that they include that 
fight there against the mystery man as like part of the canon to the story when it's an actually an optional boss in the game it's yeah very interesting lead me into everlasting darkness Sora forget it there's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry, I will. Promise? Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. What a mess. Hurry to the sandlot, you're going to be late. The way this light is, is set up is very reminiscent of um, the way Majora's Mask is like it has like three days in the game and you like do this recurring three day kind of cycle and I know obviously it's now day four and it's not a recurring cycle of days but yeah it just reminds me of that the way like this introduction section has been like day one day two day three kind of thing so yeah anyway A strange name for a tournament. Hey now, it's time to introduce today's combatants. The four bad boys who struggled their way through the preliminaries. Regular finalist and head of the Twilight Disciplinary Committee, Cypher. Completely out of nowhere. Who knew he'd make it so far this year? VV. An underground favorite and local attitude problem. Hayner. It's his first trip to the finals. And struggler number four, who happens to be my absolute favorite customer, Roxas! So, who will win this sweltering summer struggle? Who will take home the grand prize? The summa cum laude of struggle, the four crystal trophy! And a chance to take on our defending champion, Setzer! It won't be long now, folks. I suggest our challengers go over the official struggle rules before we begin. Right, I guess it'll be a another tutorial. Let's um, go and save, I think, first. Probably a good idea. You're here for my autograph? Sorry, but I'm busy. When you go listen to the referee in front of the board, explain the rules. 
in the day, I used to practice battling with my friends. Practicing is the only way you'll get stronger. Cypher might be a good opponent. I was thought like that guy would say a little bit more, that champion, but I guess he's a man of few words. Alrighty. Where is Cypher anyway? I don't see where they are. All positions should hear the rules. Alright, let's listen to the rules. You already know the rules, but as a refresher can't hurt. It's easy. You've each got 100 orbs. Attack to take away your opponent's orbs. That's all you have to do. Land a hit and your opponent will drop orbs. But if you're hit, you'll be the one losing orbs, so watch out. Well, obviously, if you hit your opponent and they're going to lose orbs, it's... <laughs> Keep collecting orbs when the match is over. The participant with the most orbs wins. When you're ready, go talk to the tournament promoter. He's in the ring. So basically, I've got to hit, hit my opponent and collect the orbs, I think. Okay. All right, time to begin. I hope you've practiced battling someone. Yeah, it does. All right, let's get started. Roxas not looks so sure. Hey, sorry about yesterday. What? You still worried about that? You need to learn to let that stuff go. I get a lot on my mind. Sorry, man. Wait, what am I sorry for? Our first match of today's struggle tournament will be between Roxas and his best friend, Hainer. All right. I battle the opponent for the control of 200 orbs. Whoever has the most orbs at the end is the winner. Tap the opponent to make them drop orbs. Watch the opponent's movements and counter them. Wherever possible, don't let the enemy counterattack. One strategy is to run around until the time runs out. Okay. Hanging here. How could I lose? Well, I think that was a pretty uh, resounding victory. will slow this kid down and Hainer put up a great fight too I lost oh, I can't believe it I guess I taught you well I had a lot of fun fighting you yeah well I didn't wise guy hey let's find a way to cheer you up nah that's all right out of the way. You in a rush to lose? <laughs> I love Vivi. I'm feeling Cypher will win this one. Don't mess with your elders. Whoa, just look at those sparks fly. I guess Cypher didn't expect to fight one of his own boys. When 
did VV get so tough? I'm not sure what just happened. Um, you say that, Perverius, but actually it's um, in the original game, Kingdom Hearts 1, there was um, segments like this and it wasn't a dead cert you you won, but the story would progress whether or not you won or not. So um, it's not always the case with this. I do wonder, like, with this um, tournament here, I don't believe I have to win it, but I'm sure if I do win it, then something good will come from it. As in like a bonus um, or something. The winner is BB in a positively blistering comeback. That's not VV. Huh? Thrash him. Someone's a bit salty, I think that they lost. Looks like Cypher's withdrawn from the struggle for third place. So I'm in third now? Oh, baby! <laughs> Alright, let's save. So we can save our progress, because I do want to win this. Alrighty, let's go and talk to Vivi a minute and see what uh, happens. <laughs> oh, Roxas! Okay, guess man a few words. It's the final match. Let's go. Keep it clean, fellas. Now, the match you've been waiting for. Roxas versus Vivi. Oh, big hit. fine i'm just gonna run around <laughs> he uh yeah had an interesting move there okay vivi's stopped time because vivi's still moving that's interesting Oh, it's uh, again. Heartless guys again. Again. I'm not sure how I feel about like the information. I think it's like pretty obvious what I actually need to do. So I don't think it needs to keep telling me what like defeat the enemies.
It'd be surprising if the sacrifice just faced an impossible boss who just push and push the player to the limits and looks like the player is winning, but suddenly the player loses the fight and the game is going to progress. If you end up to win the fight, then the progress is going to be negative thing. No, I, I, I think I think there are actually games that do that, um, to be fair, Papirius. There are quite a few games where you're not guaranteed to win. And it's part of the store part of the actual game to lose. Especially in like games where you have to develop your character, it's quite common to like go up against an enemy and lose, and then you have to kind of like spend a segment of the game to develop your character to become stronger so that you then can go back and defeat them later on in the game. Everyone's still paused. Roxas, all right. Fight, fight, fight. You really don't remember. It's me. You know, Axel. Axel? Talk about blank with a capital B. Man, oh man. Even the dusks aren't gonna crack this one. Wait a sec. Tell me what's going on. This town is his creation, right? Which means we don't have time for a Q&A. You're coming with me, conscious or not. Then you'll hear the story. Uh-oh. Thanks for the boss to check on. And the hydrate. What's going on? And the stretch while we're at it as well. Big stretch. Stretch those fingers. Thank y'all. Number 13. Roxas. The Keyblade's chosen one. Okay, fine. You asked for it. I love this music. That's more like it. Axel, also put my camera back on. You recall the Monkey Island, that kind of thing? The protagonist had had to sword fight with the pirates to learn the pirates' way of, way of talking to win the sword fight. The player lists a good many sword fights to learn the lions. Yeah, I think it's it's quite common practice actually. Preferious, it's more common than you might think. Yeah. So it was you. Raxus! This man speaks nonsense. Roxas! Don't let him deceive you! Roxas! 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 What? What just happened? Huh? How did I get here? Roxas! Ladies and gentlemen, Roxas! Our new top struggler! Do I get the 5,000 money now? Roxas? It's starting. 
Bang! Right, let's save again real quick. In case this guy uh, turns out to be a bit of a douche and a bit of a harder boss than we... Or a harder battle, sorry, than we might uh, have faced already. Speak to Vivi a minute. I'm going to try and call Vivi Vivi and not Vivi. Why did I enter the cut competition? And why is everyone giving me the cold shoulder? Yeah, I think he was possessed by something, possibly. Some tests are kind of like flipping a coin. Let's have a go at it, shall we? Keep it clean, right? And now for the title match. Are you all set? Sure, let's get started. You two, play fair now. You're at the top of the bracket. There's only room for one up here. Well, <laughs> may the best man win. Hey, Rucksack. How about you throw the match for me? How about no? Roxas, focus! Let me win, and I'll make it worth your while. Get real! Roxas, our underdog hero, versus Setzer, our defending champion. The winner of this match will be the true champion. That's bragging rights for a whole year, folks. Whatever you think is right, you're wrong. And that is a big mistake. My life is a chip in your heart. All right, here we go. It's not. That is you getting your ass kicked. You're dead. Boom! We win. We win. Got the champion belt. Increases fire, blizzard, and thunder resistance. Also the name of a um, accessory in one of the Final Fantasy games, I believe. Uh, trophy from the straw tournament. It is decorated with four crystals. So just before like we, we jump into this cutscene, um, Axel said something interesting there to Roxas, which was about... Um, he created this, this isn't real. So that makes me think, actually, is Roxas an actual person? Or is this just, thinking back to like the whole thing about like St Sora's memories restoring and we keep seeing that, is this Twilight Town, this whole environment and Roxas and all his friends and everything just part of Sora's imagination and in his dream? Is it something that um din i think i'm sure it's din has he din created this and like this is what sora's seeing at the minute but he's confused because he hasn't got his memory i don't know interesting to see where this goes oh. 
As promised. Thanks a ton, Roxas. <laughs> One more treasure for us to share. I've got a present too, for all of us. Whoa! Ice cream, of course. Selfie. Madison Rock are all wrapped up in their ball game, and they won't go with me. Not today. Sorry. Aw, why not? Do you remember those boys who used to hang out with us? Riku? Yeah. I wonder whatever happened to him. I sure miss him. He's far away. But I know we'll see him again. Sure. Of course we will. And the other boy? What other boy? The one who was with Riku and me all the time. We played together on that island. His voice always used to be there. And now it's gone. I can't think of his face or his name. I feel awful about it. So I told myself. I'm not going to the island until I remember everything about him. Are you sure you didn't make him up? Nominee? Nominee, what's happening to me? Who are you? And that's not my name. I'm Kyrie. Kyrie, I know you. You're that girl he likes. Who? Please, a name. I'm Roxas. Okay, Roxas. But can you tell me his name? You don't remember my name? Thanks a lot, Kyrie. Huh? Okay. I guess I can give you a hint. Starts with an S. Are you okay? Don't remember there being like another island opposite Destiny Islands in the original, so I'm not sure like where this island's come from. But then at the same time, I guess it, it makes sense because there's no like houses or anything on Destiny Island from the original. So um, I guess there must be other islands around where they live. I mean, I'm, I'm on board with the idea that it is a dream, Aperius, but I'm not sure that it doesn't i'm not i wouldn't say that it doesn't have a meaning there is a, a purpose to it i'm just not sure what that purpose is like i say it's almost like a, a way of like he's while his memories are being restored after um namine took them away it's almost like a like a temporary kind of environment where he's living until his all his memories are restored possibly What's that? A letter. I wrote it yesterday to the boy I can't remember. I said that no matter where he is, 
I'll find him. One day. And when I stopped writing, I remember we made a promise. I right, so sorry to go off on a tangent again, but this is like kind of interesting, like that Kyrie has forgotten Sora in the same way that Sora forgot Kyrie when he was in Castle Oblivion in Rechain of Memories. So I wonder if like whatever Namine was doing to Sora's memories, which made him forget about Kyrie. Not only does it affect Sora, but it also affects Kyrie's memory of Sora as well. Just an interesting point or possibility. Something important. This letter is where it starts. I know it. Wow. I hope he gets it. He will. It starts with an S. Right? Sora? Hey, she remembered. Restoration at seventy nine percent. His progress is astounding. So what happened? Uh where did you get that from? Namine's encounter with Roxas put his heart in contact with Kairis. And that, in turn, affected Sora. You see? Namine. She's a wonder. She wasn't born like other nobodies. She can interfere with the hearts and memories of Sora and those aligned with him. There you go. So I think my, like what I just said was right in that the minute Namine removed and altered Sora's memories, it also affected Kyrie's memories of Sora. I think Din's just confirmed that. Is she? I could tell you. But first, perhaps you could tell me your true name. It's Ansem. <laughs> it's an honor. Ah. No way. It's too soon. You can't seriously get rid of him. It's an order. Why do you hesitate? You who has been ruthless towards those who turn their backs on the organization. But it's not like that. He didn't betray us. He can't come back. If he doesn't return, you know what you must do. Or you will face the consequences. So you'll turn me into a dusk. I'll do it, if that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> 